welcome to Storytime. I am your storyteller, Stacy, and today we will be doing the storybook adaptation of Bark, George by Jules Pfeffer. One day, George's mother tells George, Bark, George! And George scratches his little puppy head, and then George says, Quack! Oh, Mama Dog was really, really upset. No, George! Ducks quack! Dogs bark. Now bark, George. George says, meow. Oh no, George. Dogs don't meow. Cats meow. You're a dog. You bark. So bark, George. Ribbit, said George. No, no, George, says Mama Dog. You're a dog. You're not supposed to ribbit. Frogs ribbit. You're a dog. Bark, George, bark. Let me hear it, my puppy. Well, George, he got a little bit nervous, a little bit flustered, and when he went to let out his big giant bark, he went oink. Well, that's a pig, says Mama Dog. There's something wrong with you, George. You just simply cannot bark. I'm taking you to the doctor. And so, George and his mother went to the veterinarian. Oh, doctor, says George's mama. There's something wrong with my son, George. He simply cannot bark. He cannot wolf, he cannot arf, he cannot grrr. Please help me. Teach my son how to bark. Well, the vet, he's a pro. So he puts on his big rubber gloves. He says, if anyone can make this dog bark, it is me, the doctor, the vet. So he says, bark, George. George, because of course he still doesn't know quite how to bark, says, quack. Well, the vet was a little bit confused. Well, how do I make this dog bark? I know, open your mouth up real wide, George. The vet reaches way deep down into George's mouth and pulls out a duck. Well, George shouldn't be quacking anymore, says the vet. So bark, George. Let's hear it. Meow. Okay, open your mouth one more time, says the vet. He reaches way deep down inside of George and pulls out a kitty cat. Fantastic, says Mother. Now we've got a duck and a cat out of my son, George. Let's see if he can bark. So the vet says, bark, George. Ribbit, says George. Well, now that's a frog. So open your mouth. He reaches way deep down into George's mouth and pulls out a frog. Well, we've got a cat, a duck, and a frog. Let's try it now. Bark, George. And George says, Oink! Hmm, well, a pig is awfully big to be inside of a little dog, but let's see. Open your mouth, George. That reaches way deep down inside of George and pulls out a pig. Oh my goodness, says the vet. Oh no, says Mama. So all, t all this time inside of George, there has been a duck, a cat, a frog, and a pig. Well, surely there couldn't be anything else inside of this puppy, says the vet. So bark, George. And George finally, with all the gusso he can imagine, says, Arf! Woof! Grrr! He's able to bark. George can bark. Oh, Mama Dog's excited, and oh, the vet is excited. George can finally bark. Oh, this is such a proud day. And in order to commemorate this proud, proud day, Mama Dog decides to take George on a walk through the park. And in the park, they see all sorts of people playing. They see people playing tennis. They see them swimming. They see them picnicking. All sorts of activities. And every time they pass by a person, George barks. He wolfs, he arfs, he girds, and Mama's so happy. By the time they get home, Mama Dog decides it's probably time for George to have a nap. So as she's tucking him into bed, she says, George, you sure have learned a lot today. Let's try it one more time. 
bark, George. Remember everything you've learned. And George gets all of his guts go deep, deep down inside of him and says, Hello. Well, I guess George never did fully learn how to bark. But think about it. Not only can he speak dog, he can speak duck, cat, frog, pig, and person. And I think that's pretty impressive for a puppy. The end.